So, uh, hi there, it's Mark and Emily. We're back in uh, Fairbanks for the first time since the competition or show. Uh, we're coming back to see to, to see what we can we can do and how we can make this thing work for us. Um, we've hired a cool uh, Malibu. Chevrolet Mal Malibu, I think yeah, it's called. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit different from what we're used to. It's not yeah. a big truck. Uh, it's very sporty, automatic. Feel the cool driving. Yeah, I think it would be more at home in uh, Malibu than uh, Alaska. In Alaska, but um, anyway, it was a free upgrade, so I'm happy. Yeah, we're, I think we were going to be <laughs> driving a Ford, Ford there you yeah, go. A, a four seater saloon, but like a tiny car. A Prius. Yeah, a Prius. So. Um, yeah, so yesterday it was really cool um, to. Uh, go and see the guys in the laundry gang, wasn't it? Yeah, because we missed that when we were up the mountain. Up, up the mountain. Uh, we knew there'd be some uh, useful people to speak to there, so we, we sort of invited ourselves to their meeting, uh, and met some really good people, and started to understand a little bit more about wells and waterways. And yeah, we met some really interesting people, uh, a, a wide range of ages as well, wasn't it? And skill sets. And that's yeah. where you get really good. Uh, oh, that's the little owl cafe. I really like the little owl cafe. Yeah, everybody likes the big waffles. Yeah. Um, uh, so we have to get some some uh, maps now. We'll try to get some more detailed maps of around the mountain, around OC, that we can uh, use for you know finding the old trails or the trails that Dwayne had cut years ago, but I don't think they've been used. Um, we hopefully we can find these old trails. We can reinstate them when we're up there. Yeah, interestingly enough, um, in the meeting yesterday, they uh, they said that the geological um, survey people, uh, the department, um, are no longer marking um, trails on the maps, which which everyone's a bit up in arms about because obviously a lot of people rely on those trails to get around in the in the winter. Um, and so then they're, they're actually no longer using putting them like, generically on the on the maps so i think someone was saying that they're going to try and raise them up to get that back in play yeah they? so um, hopefully there'll be still some trails on the maps but our idea is to print them out quite big and get Dwayne to mark um mark them on the maps the, uh, the way that the Laundry House gang spoke, that it was uh, that they were that these wouldn't, you know, when we go to get our maps, we're going to be a bit disappointed because we're they're not going to be marked on there. So I think we've kind of accepted that, but we'll just have to remark them on there. But uh, I think they treated them a little bit like like footpaths that if they're not walked regularly enough, then they probably don't exist anymore. I'm just doing a bit of dodgy driving because nice. I've gone wrong. Uh, so yeah, the geological survey place is near the University of Fairbanks, which is quite cool. Uh, I think it's a really cool museum that I might get to go to. Uh, but um, yeah, we're still uh, yeah. So that's about it, really. Okay, so we're at the University of Fairbanks, uh, and we've gone to the geophysical uh, institute behind us and got our maps so we are we set up with maps and uh it's only 77 dollars worth uh 77 funny enough is a number which appears <laughs> quite a lot a lot and maybe maybe it's serendipitous um because manali is 77 miles away from oc mountain uh, uh Dwayne is 77 indeed anyway something uh, else as well but. so we we met a really cool girl in there called Teresa. Um, she's actually, in fact, her family have got two dry cabins. One not a million miles away from us. Kind I mean, of on the way. Yeah, uh, about an hour and a half out of Manana, uh, which is kind of along the route that we'll have to take in the winter. Uh, so we were asking loads of questions, weren't we? And they've got a well out there, but equally they don't have a shower or anything like that. It's all pretty. pretty. Uh, yeah, and she's, she's wanting to take her float play license, which is pretty good. Cool. Um, and yeah, so uh, her dad also owns the Alaska Fun Center, which is a big, uh, which is a sort of a big company selling Yamaha goods and snack and cheese and uh, 
um, quad bikes and side by sides. All sorts so, of things that we probably need. Come on, yeah. Walk. yeah. Um, so we're hoping, uh, hoping to pop in there, have a look. We can't remember what what the uh, skidoos up there are or whatever what make the snow machines are. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have to ask uh, Wayne about that. Um, uh, well, because actually we've got to go and get a spare part anyway for them. Yeah. So that's another job for today. Um, but this was our main job uh, for this morning, getting these maps. So what we did, we've, we've got them in as much detail as possible around the cabin and the surrounding area. And then when we go up to Osu Mountain on Sunday, um, we're going to uh, get Dwayne to mark the trails on these maps so that we have some idea. Because obviously, when those guys move back down to um, Minnesota, Minnesota um, um, uh, when they go uh, to Minnesota, we won't be able to just call on them and say, "Oh, where do we go?" Um, so we yeah. hope, hopefully, we get this mapped out um, to give us an idea for the future as we start to break some of those trails and open them yeah. up. Um, we're we'll also looking into getting a GPS, a Garmin GPS. Um, I think it might be called Intelligent. I'm not sure. Uh, but it's it's uh, doubles up as a not necessarily a sat phone, but a satellite texting facility, which kind of does two jobs in one. We wanted a, a GPS system, but we also recognised we needed a sat phone, um, and sat phones are really expensive. We thought about hiring one when we were up there, but actually, I think this is kind of a nice. Uh, everyone seems to think it's a good way of uh, killing one uh, two birds with one stone, really. Um, so now we're going to go and what are we doing now? Get some donuts. Maybe. Oh, we're, I think we're going donut shopping, yeah, which is really pretty, exciting. Pretty important. Yeah, a staple, staple of Alaskan life, I think. Uh, okay.